Good up people, welcome back to the channel. I'm back with another awesome tutorial on virtual DJ. So this round we are going to talk about the settings you need to set on your what your virtual DJ software so that you can be able to record a high quality uh, video. So the previous video I made was more of the requirements you need, the specs of your computer. So on this tutorial we are going to focus on the settings because there are specific things you need to set so that you can attain a high quality HD video while you are recording your mixtape in virtual DJ yeah so guys if you are new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon yeah make sure you like the video it is a motive to make me get motivated to make more videos so guys let's start of the tutorial as you can see I've loaded uh, a video on the on the on both decks so for the output yeah, as you can see we double click it yeah as you can see it's a high quality HD video so the first thing you need, which is very obvious you need to have high quality music which are of high definition that's the most important thing because if you have low quality videos don't expect to record a high quality uh, video mix so so guys so the settings just come to the setting part up here the first thing you need to start off is uh, you just type video you come to the op uh, to options type video and it will pop up so in this section there are a couple of things you need to change so that you can get to the point you are recording a high quality video so just ignore the browser come to video and the most important part is the video frames per second excuse me you need to set them at 60 60 frames per second but this depends on your on your machine your computer or your laptop so if you set at 60 per second yeah maybe your computer has low specs yeah it may be get it may get overwhelmed and, and it might start hanging when you're recording your mixtape so make sure your comp the basic the least one to be at least 4 gb ram 64 bit to 10 the current one i'm using is coi 5 and it's functioning well so when you set at 60 frames per second it will make it to be of high quality but the file size when recording might be a bit high so make sure you set that other additions maybe like the crossfader you want to set it at linked so that when you move your crossfader from the right deck to the left deck it will move in synchrony with the audio so when you move the, the crossfader it will control both your video and your audio which is very important because it will make your work easier Another thing to note of is uh, my video drive. Uh, my video driver is Intel HD Graphic 4000. Yeah, you may find your computer has other graphic cards like NVIDIA. Yeah, there are a lot of them. At the moment, I'm using this one. So on the on the video, the other things we want to, re to remove the virtual DJ logo. As you can see, mine it is displaying my my logo here. Or if you ask if you're the virtual DJ you're using is not licensed yeah it will sh sh show the virtual DJ logo up here which I can show very quick if you come to the licenses you just check if it's licensed if it is not licensed it will be displaying a reddish thing here yeah as you can see mine is subscribed so that's why I'm able to adjust my logo but if you are not licensed, you, you won't be able to change the logo. How to adjust that after you have had your license? Uh, just come to options, drag down here. You, can, you see some written video logo. You can choose yes or no. So if I click no, the logo disappears. Yeah, the same. So that's just something additional. How to add the logo. Also, you need to deactivate the skin. Usually, at times when you have uh, you have just installed virtual digit, it comes with a skin. So for the skin, video skin, 
you can you can add it here just down the down drop you can choose for live or broadcast or you can just come to the to the interface up here down here you have video skins you can choose to to play to, to play the music uh, when you have a, a skin down here the skin will, sh uh, will display the name of the song the artist uh, but as you, you see it is weird when you have both the lower third you have a skin so you may choose one you may choose to deactivate your lower third or you may choose to stick with the video skin for myself i just like sticking with the lower third because it displays my social media hurdles also is a sense of ownership of the mixtape yeah also you can choose to put broadcast like that just what you like yeah for many i like it at none yeah so that's how you change the you change the the skin so those are the things you need to set you can also choose uh, the location of the logo yeah there are a couple of things you need to change but the most important ones are the the first one is the video frames per second that is very important to to adjust maybe 30 or 60 depending on the computer you're using if you're using a high-end computer you can set it as 60 yeah but if you're using a computer that has low specs it may start hanging when you are recording a mixtape so those are the basic things you need to set at the video also you need to go back and search the record because also there are other couple of things you need to change here to attain the high quality video so at record obviously you have to choose the file uh, file uh, how are you going to to, to, to to save your files you have to set it how to do that just make sure you will quick just come to record file name click on this part to direct it to your computer either your documents your desktop you just choose where you want to to save your mixtape let's go back to our to our settings back to options the other number the other thing is the record format for my mixtapes i like using mp4 because it plays in most devices uh, tv screens phones yeah mp4 is a universal format which plays in most of the devices so it's always to to use it so that everybody who wants to get your mixtape can access it because if you use other format yeah people may want to view a video but the format you have used <coughs> is not accessible to them so you always always to use mp4 how to change it yeah at default you may have another format so you just come to record and the format click on the down drop as you can see if you are recording an audio mixtape yeah just use whichever you want i prefer mp3 because also it is universal it plays in most devices so for this video you're focusing on the video so you talk about the the two formats there are two this there are two at virtual dj there are two formats the, the mp4 web yeah so for myself i like mp4 just select it and that's how you change the format so go back to the options so you can proceed yeah then now at the, the record quality yeah this is very important you need to select high yeah for this determines the quality of a video so make sure you select at high but also this has some consequences and the consequences are that if you put at high the record file file size the mixtape you have recorded will have a high uh, will be a, a large file will have a lot of mbs so yeah so you have to make sure you have enough space for that so if you choose low you expect a low quality video which have a small size file as it goes high it also increases but for this video you're focusing on a high quality hd video so you have to select high that's very important for that the others like uh, the record auto start yeah those, those ones do not affect the, the the quality of the video the record wait for sound this is very important also but doesn't affect the size this means that when you whenever you want to record a song a mixtape i mean uh, as you can see I've, I've clicked yes so when you press the record when you start recording your virtual dj won't start recording the mixtape 
until it senses an audio. So you have to play music first so that your first your DJ can sense some music. Yes, which is very awesome because maybe you can start recording. You have some few delays starting the mixtape. So it is very good to set it at at that so that whenever you press the record it waits for you to play the music. But that, that doesn't affect the video quality. That's just an addition. Yeah, the others like the record override, just ignore them and that doesn't affect the quality of the video. The other important thing is that the record video resolution. This definitely affects the quality of the video. Yeah, so you need to change it. At default settings, it is usually at uh, 1280, 720. So you need to set it at 1920, 1080 as a HD video. And most of the musics in YouTube, yeah, most of them are at this format because it's a high definition format. Set it at the same. And of note also, when you set it high, also you expect your file size to increase. Yeah. So guys, those are the most important things at record. Just go them, uh, go through them very fast. The record format, MP4. You come to the video quality, high. Yeah, you come to the record resolution, uh, 12, I mean 1920 and 1080. Those are the changes you need to make. So if you guys you make those changes and you expect when you're recording a video mixtape, it will be of high quality and uh, it uh, also you expect it to have a large file. That is something that is expected, but you can always, after recording virtual DJ, you can use other uh, video softwares, like I'm using the Vegas Pro, you convert it to small to, to uh, another format which is high quality, but is less than this so guys that's all for this tutorial hope you have learned something new uh, let's keep uh, helping each other let's keep supporting each other if you're new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button like the video share it uh, for in case of any question you can always hit me through the comment section or you can contact me through my whatsapp number or through my email so guys keep it safe until next time